Welcome back. Uh, today we'll be taking a look at a little bit of code I've uh, written this weekend that will calculate the acceleration of a box sliding down a plane um, as well as the normal force exerted on the box if we know the mass of the box. So basically what we have here is we have some sort of a ramp or a hill and we have a box that is sliding down this ramp. And we're looking to know at what rate the box is accelerating down the plane here. So let's go ahead and take a look at some of the code here. And I'll try to explain it to y'all. Basically, uh, these first several lines right here, I guess the first seven lines, are basically the prompts um, that will allow the user to input the angle of incline of the plane, the coefficient of friction, um, and if we're not dealing with friction here, uh, you can just put a coefficient of friction of zero. Uh, the tension down the plane. So if we have like a rope that's pulling the box down the plane, uh, tension up the plane. Uh, so similar as down the plane, uh, we might have somebody who's pulling a rope uh, that's attached to the box up the plane. And then right here, I establish the gravitational constant as 9.8 meters per second. And then we get into the real meat of the code. Um, so if the tension of uh, down the plane and up the plane are both zero, then we use this formula right here, uh, which does not use the mass at all, uh, the mass of the box, that is. However, if either uh, tension 1 or tension 2 is not equal to zero, then the code will uh, go right here, and it will ask you for the mass of the box in kilograms. And the mass of the box is necessary to know um, so that we can find the acceleration down the plane. Um, and like I said earlier, we only need the mass of the box if we have some tension, uh, like a rope pulling up or down um, the plane. And then also output the normal force, which is the mass of the box, times the gravitational constant, um, times the cosine of the angle of incline. And then that statement will end, and these last um, seven lines right here will uh, generate a graph that will show you um, kind of the plane here. So let's go ahead and do a couple examples of this so that y'all can know that the code actually works. So the angle of incline, let's say that's uh, 22 degrees. Coefficient of friction, for this first example, let's say that's zero. So we're dealing with a frictionless surface here. Uh, tension down the plane, we'll say is zero. Tension up the plane, let's say is 300 newtons. And then it's going to ask us the max mass of the box because both tensions were, ne were not zero. So the mass of the box is 30 kilograms. And we get an acceleration of negative 6.3289 meters per second squared. And this number is negative because the box is being pulled up the plane. Uh, we had a rope that was pulling with a tension of 300 newtons that's pulling this box up the plane. And so our acceleration is negative. As you can see, the angle that we're dealing with right here, and kind of the plane right here on this graph, you can kind of picture a box on this plane and then a rope with a guy pulling the box and the rope up the plane. So that would be our first example. Our second example, uh, we can say the angle of incline will be um, 22 degrees, coefficient of friction will be zero again, uh, no tension down or up the plane. And then you can see it does not ask us for the mass uh, because both tensions were zero and it will give us an acceleration of 3.6711 meters per second down the plane. And here is uh, that graph right there. Let's do one final example here. Um, let's run it, and this one will have um, some friction in it. So let's do uh, 35 degrees is the angle. Coefficient of friction will be 0 0.19. Uh, tension down the plane, we won't have anybody pulling the box down the plane. So that'll be zero. Up the plane, we'll have somebody pulling this box up with a tension of 100 newtons. And we'll make the, mat, the box weigh uh, 50 kilograms. So in here, we can see that our normal force is 401 newtons. And our acceleration down the plane is 3.5905 meters per second squared. So the box in this example is moving down the plane, um, which is rather steep here, because uh, our angle, I think, was 35 degrees. So the box is moving down the plane and it is accelerating at a rate of 3.5905 meters per second squared. So anyways guys, I hope you all have enjoyed this little video here showcasing this little piece of code that I've written. And if you want to check the code out for yourself, uh, just let me know 
and I will make sure to uh, get it to you in some form or fashion. So thanks for watching. This has been Iron Pine, and I'm out. I will catch y'all later.